What's up, all of my beautiful people? It is your girl, Brunetta, here. And I know the title of the video got you to click on it. And I'm really glad it did because, hell, the title of the video would, would, got, would get me to click on it, okay? If I see it on my YouTube feed and it's recommended, I'm going to have to watch me again so I can let all of this sink in. Right now, you are looking at the richest woman in the world. Yes, you are an African-American female from Greenwood, Mississippi. I also got that the Memphis, Tennessee roots. So I like to say that I'm a uh, Memphis, Mississippi girl. I'm a um, Tennessee, Mississippi girl. Um, I grew up all over, <laughs> really. Um, but we used to always go home to Greenwood, Mississippi. That's where my grandma was, my mom's mom. That's where my family was. We went there every holiday. We went there every 4th of July, every summer. And I actually ended up graduating in 2001 from Greenwood High School in Greenwood, Mississippi. Shout out to all of my bulldogs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I want to talk to you about the first day that God spoke this word to me. I will never forget it. It was August the 28th of 2019. And I was sitting there. I don't know what I was doing. I was sitting on the floor and I heard the God, I heard the God, I heard God say, write. So I said, uh, okay, I'm going to write. He said, I want you to title this a message for black people. I said, okay. And I had no idea what he was about to say. And here is a message. I'm going to hold it up and you can pause it if you want to. And you can just look over this message. I'm going to link it down below. I may even, I might even put a picture in the community post so that you can see this word and share this word, especially if you're an African-American, an African-American or brown, Latino um, minority, because I want you to know something. God is about to shift some things and God is about to show you something different. And God is about to transfer wealth. That means that he's taking wealth from the wicked and he's giving it to the righteous, to people he know is going to do some good with it. So here's the message. On August 28, 2019, God said, right. And he said, this message is for you, those of a different hue. The shades I created of black and browns. Why do you frown? Why are you afraid? Remember the God of the old days, the days of your people who were hurt and beaten. I've seen it all and I cried my tears. The white people had many in fear for years. Do you not know those days are gone? Why do you still talk about it and sing those sad songs? For I am here and I never left. You all ran away and chose yourself. Return back to my kingdom and I will help. Pick up your Bible and speak the word. Believe the word. See the word. If you don't understand, find a teacher of the word. The word is hope. I am the sender of hope. You will see her soon. They will talk about her day, night, and at noon. Mark my words and you will see. The one I send will be the riches of the sea. All men will talk and be in awe. When they see the African-American woman, I choose to be the riches of them all. It's time to show the world a great wonder. I will make her the richest woman in all the world to make them wonder. All the noise and the hate of my people must cease. I am the creator of every hue from sea to sea. I send this chosen one to give my black people hope, to show you if I am for you, who can be against you? I am God and there is no other. I love all you of all colors. But for many years, you have torn my people down. I will show you from this day forward, black will be crowned. Your ancestors are proud of all you have done. But thus says the Lord, don't stop, run. And at the end of that message, I heard the words as clear as day. He said, the woman is you. I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Pause. Wait a minute. Maybe this is something I made up. Maybe this is something that I'm just speaking to myself. Now, let me tell y'all something. Jokingly. 
jokingly a couple of weeks prior to this i was doing some business research and i was looking up uh the top richest women in the world it came across my youtube channel as a recommendation and i think it was on mr luxury's channel and i was looking up the richest women in the world and the richest woman in the world was like she made like 60 billion dollars i think she was the heir of the l'oreal company and i was like damn 60 billion dollars i was like okay that ain't nothing i said man i want to be the richest woman in the world i remember saying that I remember saying, I want to be the richest woman in the world. I remember saying, damn, all I got to be the $60 billion, I can do that. I could definitely make this happen. And then a few weeks later on August 28th, this is the message that God spoke to me. And at the end, he said, the woman is you. So I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. I don't know. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And then, um, a, a couple of months later on January 22nd, God confirmed this this message to me through a, a prophet here on YouTube and her name is Dr. Alexis. And, and I'll never forget, it was January 22nd, 2020. And I stumbled across a video and the title of, of the video was called Your Miracle is in Motion. This is only gonna be a miracle by God that I become the richest woman in the world. And about an hour into the video, she said, I hear somebody with the last name Smith God said, what you are about to endeavor to do has not been done. Do not turn your ideas over to anybody because if you give your ideas away, they're going to take them away and they're going to do what they want to do with them and you won't get the return on the vision that God has given you. God said that he's going to supply to you and he's going to give you everything that you need. Let me tell y'all what I was thinking. I was thinking that all the ideas that God gave me, I needed to partner with somebody and I was going to reach out to a couple of people and I had already started it. I started to reach out to a couple of people and I was going to give the ideas away and I was going to talk to them about the ideas. But then God let me know, no, if you give these ideas away, those people are going to take them. Y'all know how they used to do a lot of stuff. They used to take our music. Uh, Elvis stole a lot of African Americans music let's keep it real a lot of the white artists stole a lot of music from the African Americans they stole a lot of our stuff back in the day but God said he's about to restore back to us everything that we had lost I remember one day I told God give me everything back that every African American in this world lost Give it back to me, God, and I'll show you what I'll do with it. I remember saying that to God because I know that African-Americans, they lost a lot. And I don't care what race you are. If your people have been beaten down, if you Latino and there were some things stolen from you, ask God to give it back to you and he'll do just that. And I remember asking God for that too. And then I get this message on August 28th and I was like, yo, yo, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was like, okay, you had me meet with a prophet in 2017. Why she just didn't tell me this? God said, if I had told you that you would be the richest woman in the world through that lady, you wouldn't have believed me. You would have thought that lady was crazy. He said, I had to tell you first so that you can know that it was I who spoke this to you. And y'all, I'm going to tell you something. You're looking at the richest woman in the world. I'm going to do it. I don't know how. I do know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to build some of the biggest companies in the world. I'm coming into the oil industry. I'm coming into the cruise industry. Disney World, get ready. I'm coming to be your competition. I'm coming to dominate in the business industry because I know the ideas that God gave me and I know what he spoke to me. Let me tell you something. God speaks to you like he speaks to anybody else. Not well, not true. God speaks to you like he your friend. It's a still small voice. God can speak to you through YouTube. He'll make a video be recommended. Just pop, just, just pop up. No, he wants you to see it. He wants you to watch it. He want to he wanna teach you something. God can speak to you through billboards. God can speak to you through books, through words, certain phrases. God can speak to you in your dreams. God is unlimited, baby. He will speak to you in a way that you can understand it. That's why I started studying business. I had a passion for business. It came out of nowhere. And in the past three years, I amassed over eight, uh, 800 book collection on books. And I was feeding on books. I was reading on books. I was learning about managing money, business, entrepreneurship. I was learning about structure. I was learning about stocks. I, I was learning about annual reports. I printed every annual report ever been written by Warren Buffett and his company, Berkshire Hathaway. And I read every single annual report and I printed them and I stored them in my collection so that I can go back to those annual reports so that I can know how the, the smartest man in the world, Warren Buffett, 
that billion dollar man, I need to learn from him. I need to feed from him. I need to sit up under his leadership. I need to be mentored by him. And that's what I do. I feed off of those annual reports. I read over 600 books on business. And I continue to read and research on business. Because I'm about to be the richest woman in the world. Remember I said it. My name is Bernetta Smith. And I will be the richest woman in the world. I'm posting this video so that it can be documented. So that you know that it was not all me. Yeah, I had a part to do. But baby, this was all God. God who sent Jesus to die on the cross for you. That's how much he loved you, black people. The black door is open. It's going to be racism all the time because some people are just ignorant. Who cares? We live in a decade where we can be millionaires and billionaires. You got to use this. You got to get information. Information is value. Information is powerful. So right now, y'all looking at the richest woman in the world, and I want you to know something. God wants to bless you too. It's not about the money. It's about what I'm going to do with the money. God knows. He, he knows my heart. He trusts me. He know what I'm going to do with this money. He know I'm going to build something. He know I'm going to build schools. He know I'm going to build communities. He know I'm going to build people up. And I got another thing that I, I, I'm going to wait on him to share it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even believe this if I told you. I'm going to go ahead and say it because I believe it. You're looking at the first Madam President. I'm going for it because God told me to run. He let me know he wanted me in that seat. He wants me in the White House. I don't know when, but when he tells me to run, I got that much faith. Barely went to college, maybe a half a semester. Barely made it out of high school two weeks before graduation. Had a 32 in geometry. And you know you need math to pass. This girl right here from Greenwood, Mississippi. Mississippi, one of the poorest, poorest states in the, in, in the country. President of the United States. <laughs> Y'all, let's go. Let's make history. I want you to make history. God wants you to make history. He wants to do something amazing in your life. All you got to do is believe it. He'll show you, he'll speak it to you, he loves you, and he wants something so amazing for you. All you got to do is dream big. Let God use you. God wants to use you. God wants to do something amazing through you. I'm about to be the richest woman in the world. It is your girl, Bernetta Smith. Welcome to the Bible Podcast. If you are new on this channel, I teach you about God. I break it down to you. We talk about the Bible and the powerful word of God. The, the Bible is so powerful. This word is so powerful. But you got to speak it. You got to speak it out there. You got to open your mouth and you got to speak it. You got to believe it. God written it. God wrote this book for you. He had people to write this book for you. These words are timeless. They are for you. And God wants to do something amazing in your life. I love y'all. Go out there and make history. I am.